Hi guys, it's Dana. Welcome back tonight. Well, it's tonight for me. Y'all will see this tomorrow. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. I realized today that it is the last day of April and I have not done my Christmas once a month for April. So I'm here tonight to do that because I didn't want the evening to go without me having done this. And I'm telling you, I need some craft therapy tonight. And so here we are. So I pulled out my Christmas scraps that are all in this bag. And I have them kind of, I always keep my scraps, especially for Christmas, kind of separated by size. So I have those. And then I pulled my bin of, it's just kind of like things to decorate with that are Christmas themed that I keep in my Christmas kind of bin I have over here. And um, so we have some stuff to decorate with and we have my scraps. So I thought that um, the last couple of months we worked on ephemera, like journaling cards and tags and things like that. And we may do some of that tonight, but I'd like to kind of focus maybe on some pockets, um, things that will hold stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if we end up with journaling cards and tags, then we end up with journaling cards and tags. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this little thing out because it's got itty bitty pieces in it. It looks like there is some bigger stuff in here though. That's music. Let me, looks like there's some bigger pieces in here. So let me pull those because those can be made into stuff. These look like they're about six by six, maybe a little smaller. Oh, those are pretty. I haven't looked at my Christmas stuff at, well, my Christmas scraps that I haven't looked at in about a month, uh, longer than that. So we'll pull those out. I'm going to set these little things aside for now. We've got some strips here. Um, and it looks like some four by sixes. So let's work with those. And these one month we'll have to just work with these these are um just pads um paper pads this one's almost gone i only have a well, let's see about a half a dozen pieces in here one two three about 10 pieces in here left in here and but this one i bought not too long ago um when they had um paper studio stuff half off so this was like five bucks and I really liked it so it's very like kind of distressed and I mean look at those snowflakes Ooh, that's really pretty huh pretty pretty so this is new to me so these are great for making journaling cards and stuff out of because they're already kind of the perfect size they're four and a half by six and a half I don't usually do journaling cards that are bigger four by six, bigger than four by six, but you just trim half off, inch off each side, excuse me, and they're perfect for journaling cards. So um, one month we'll have to, maybe we'll do that next month, is just take these and decorate them up into journaling cards. Um, we can get a ton done. So yeah, especially with some of the decorating stuff I have over here. So we'll put these aside. These are longer strips. Let's see, I'm looking for wider ones. Here's, here's a whole kind of stack of them over here. They're all, I must have taken some 12 by 12s and kind of how these are four inches. So I must have taken some 12 by 12s and just cut them down. They were probably the last sheets of a paper collection that was almost done, almost almost gone. And so I must have trimmed them down to just four by 12 inch strips. So I think let's take one of each of these. Those are really cute because we can do something with those really quick that we can do first. I'll put the rest of these away for now. Okay, let's get started. So right away, and this is something that I learned from Gail Agostinelli, was um, 
you just and you've seen me use these you've also seen me make these just folding the top into like an arrow shape and then folding them down a little bit. I usually don't go right up to that tip of the fold there. I leave, and what I'm talking about is this. I like to leave about like a quarter of an inch or so there. And then fold this up to that fold line or a little below. And then that's super cute. And you glue that onto the page on this side and on this side and you can slip a tag down in there and then this opens up for journaling space so let's quickly put like three of those together and i have these rosettes that we made around christmas time that would be perfect things to put on those to keep them closed so these will be a quick make and we'll end up with four pieces of ephemera oh this is ripped okay let me just trim this off ripping this one we don't want that we can still do what we were gonna do these don't look directional to me so boy I tell you I needed craft therapy tonight and I just I don't know if I can even talk about it sharing too much like personal information but you guys don't know who my ex-husband is so <laughs> I get a child support check and you know his wages are garnished and because he doesn't freely pay it on his own and I haven't received a check in two weeks and um, I found out today after calling child support enforcement this one's ripped too jeez that he's not working right now that he went to a, either a different job or he's not working and so they don't know where he is where he's working or anything and that's just you guys know me i don't work because i'm disabled and that's a huge blow and so just a lot of worry and stress comes along with that. And I'm sorry for sharing such personal information, but it's just, it triggers my worry. So it has not been a good day for me. I just have been in a rotten mood. So, oh, that's cute with the little wreaths. So I just really needed some craft therapy tonight be able to sit with y'all and be with my peeps do something creative do something that makes me happy I lost myself in the television for quite a while today and then I was just like I'm tired of watching TV and so here I am so but I didn't want to do a video either earlier today when I was in such a rotten mood because nobody wants to sit and watch a video by me when I'm in a rotten mood. Really, nobody wants to be around me when I'm in a rotten mood. And I don't blame y'all. <laughs> I don't blame my kids. I don't blame any of you. <laughs> so I'm just going to ink these up. The red's pretty dark, but it's still, you can still tell that it's inked. And I'm not going to do the back because we're going to glue it down. But I'll do the sides. Okay. So I hope y'all are having a good day. It just stinks. It stinks to worry about finances. It stinks to, you know, I just hate that. But it, like I said, I'm it's not the first time I've been here in this situation with him. So. Let me kind of get this 
crease here and get this crease up here. Sorry, you have to sit and watch me ink, but it's just part of the process. Okay, so there's that one. Well, let's get this edge because this is the edge that was torn off the paper pad. So it's got kind of a white, you know, like gritty edge to it. Okay, there's one. show really nicely on these other ones though. And it made me happy to pull my Christmas stuff out. My Christmas stuff makes me happy. Isn't that funny how you have certain like papers that just it lifts your mood just looking at them because they're so pretty or you don't work with them very often or you know. to lunch with my sister yesterday I um, was very excited because I really wanted to do a video today of it but I needed to get the Christmas video done and um, I met her for lunch and we went to Hobby Lobby the other day and or was it yesterday it was yesterday and it was great <laughs> I love being with my sister and she always makes me happy and I took her journal of course she loved it and she uh, spent the time we were waiting for her food looking through the journal and um, pulling out all the tags oh what's this made out of what's that made out of and um, that was really cute and uh, she uh, she brought me a present I'm so excited and I was so excited I don't know you know my sister surprises me sometimes she you know like what did you buy me something for you know and like it's not my birthday or you know my birthday is quite a while a little a little bit away and um, I you know was like what did you buy me something for and she said well she's so she's so cute and she's so sweet when when I go over to her house and spend time I have a morning routine and um, she is so sweet because I know when I'm there I'm interrupting her routines you know and um, she's like me she has kind of a morning routine that she goes through herself and when I'm there her routine gets interrupted but she always tries to not interrupt my routine so here's my routine <laughs> I wake up at whatever time I wake up in the morning and um, I take my medication and I'm on a uh, medication that I'm pretty much stay on 24 hours it's a time released um, it's an extended release medication so it um, it releases itself over time throughout the day and so I take one in the morning and I take one in the evening and so when I wake up in the morning I'm usually hurting pretty bad having gone through the night and you know it's morning time and you know I'm due for medications and stuff like that and so what I do is I get up and before I even get out of bed um, the night before I always go to bed at night with a drink um, by my bedside and so when I wake up in the morning I use that drink to take my meds before I even get out of bed and um, okay that's the front side all done and so I take my meds but they because my psoriatic arthritis um, I'm very super stiff in the morning my joints are very stiff um, they hurt a lot and it takes an hour or two um, for me um, for my joints to loosen up 
and um, and for my meds to kick in. And so what I do is I take my meds, I let my dogs outside, and then I sit down and I watch um, Gail Augustinelli's video. She puts up a video every day and they're usually about an hour long. And, um, and she posts them, well, at my time right now it's seven, but when the time changes in the fall, it's eight. And so, um, so I sit and I watch her video. And my sister, when I'm at her house, okay, let's pick some of these rosettes because um, we'll use these as the like stopper to keep the flap closed. That looks cute there. Let me pull out the ones that I have. I don't have many left. We need to make some more of them. Um, I think this one looks cute here. This one's blue, um, so I won't use this one because we don't have blue. These have blue on the stamps, but they're mostly red and green. Red and green. So this one here, and then this one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put glue on the bottom half of the rosette. So anyway, when I'm at my sister's house, she's so sweet and you know, her kind of crafting is crocheting. And so she doesn't, you know, subscribe to like Gail or anything like that. And she doesn't watch that type of crafting videos and, and stuff. So, but when I'm at her house, she, when I get up, she was so sweet because I'll get up and she'll go, and once I take my meds and sit down, she'll go, you want me to put Gail's video on <laughs> for you? It's just so sweet because it's like, it's not her thing. And she'll just literally sit and watch Gail with me. And it's just, she's so sweet. And so one of the videos that we were watching the last time I was there, um, Gail was binding a, um, she was binding a, a journal and um, she uses a book cradle to do that. And, um, and I said something to my sister to the effect of, you know, that's so cool. Um, you know, I wish I had one of those or something like that. And she came to lunch with a book cradle for me that she bought for me on Etsy. And I was like, what did you do that for? And she's like, well, you said you wanted one. And, you know, she knows we don't have a ton of money around here and I don't buy a ton of stuff and um, to craft with and things like that. And it's not something that I would ever spend the money on for myself because I, you know, the way I do it now works, you know, so it, I'm the kind of person that if, if something works, I'm, you know, not going to spend the extra money to buy something to make it easier because I've made it work this way all this time. You know what I mean? And so, um, so it was just really sweet. So I was dying to like bind my, um, <laughs> to bind my, uh, uh, spring journals that we've been working on in the videos because like now I've got a book cradle to do it. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> so it was just very sweet. And so I'm, I'm very excited about that. If we have time at the end of the video, I'll go run. It's sitting in the living room in its box. I'll go run and get it and we can open it together and look at it. Okay, so just like that, there's four pieces of ephemera. So four Christmas journals that these can go in. Really cute. Okay, so those are done. Put those off to the side. I was looking at these. Um, let's see, this won't work. How about, I was thinking corner pockets. Um, let's pick out some cute paper here. This one, if we used this one, we wouldn't really even need to decorate it that much there's a Christmas tree there. We could put some bling on it. So let's use that. These polka dots are super cute. All this paper is really cute. 
Ooh, look at this one. Let's use polka dots. We'll do a few sets. Since I've got four of those, let's do four sets of these. We probably won't decorate them all, but I don't know that we'll have time to decorate them all. Ooh, this is pretty. Let's use this one. Maybe the stripes or the music would be cute. Let's use the music. Okay, that's four pieces. So let's, let's do those. Let me get my cutter out. First thing we need to do is square these up. So let's see here. A page is about five and a half. I'm sorry. You guys, I need to pause you for just, I can't pause you, but just a second. My daughter's alarm is going off and she's not in here to turn it off. So I'll be right back. so so sorry but while I was out that way I got the box with my book cradle in it so <laughs> okay so let's see a page is five and a half wide so maybe like four and a half we can trim these two and make them a four and a half inch square I am really so sorry about that guys I hate that um, is that gonna work let's do five On my other phone, I was able to pause my video and then just pick it back up. And I can't do that on my iPhone. Oh, these, oh, these are exactly five inches, just not on this side. So that's perfect. So I have to just, uh, exactly five inches that way so the only thing I can do is kind of run away from <laughs> from the camera and uh, I'm really sorry about that and that one's five that way so I must have been trimming these for a certain purpose so that all they all okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just put both corners on my cut line and trim them like this. So we end up with two corner pockets there. So that's one set. There's two. So I'm just leave these cut for right now. I don't know that I want to. I find um, these shapes of pockets, I love them for my journals, but I find them the most difficult for me to, um, to actually decorate because of the shape of them. So I don't wanna sit and struggle with them on camera right at this moment. So, um, so I'm gonna just set those aside. Okay, so what, let's see. Um, what we have as far as, um, I'm thinking like a side pocket or we could do, oh, we could do library pockets, guys. Let's do library pockets. Oh. Like we can literally use that as the back. So let's choose some backgrounds. This one would be cute as a background. Um, this one would be cute as a background. This one, 
This one actually looks like ledger. Okay. And then we'll use um, these to cut. So let's make them, I don't know that I'll make that a pocket. I'd like for them to be bigger than that. Because I, let's make like a, a page one. So these can be, let's see how tall is this? This is about six inches tall. That'll work. We could do six. Let's do four by six. So four by six, if I've got ones that are wide enough. Ah, these aren't wide enough. Um, that one was. These aren't six. Okay. Um, is this one six? It is. So we'll go four by six on that one. So that's two. But I think these are, these are all five and three quarters. But you know what, let's just do it. Let's just make them work. They don't have to be exact. Let's not get picky. Okay, so they're all four inches wide. So I wonder if I've got in here, oh, see, I could have used these. I've got a ton in here that are probably the right height. Let's see if we find something cuter that I want to use. Ooh, I really like these. Um, let's use those. I'm going to take out this one and I'm going to take out the blue one. Let me make sure these are four inches wide. They're a little over, but we're going to use them anyway. Okay, so let's look for um, contrasting pieces of paper that we can use as pockets. And I saw some that were in here that were kind of um, going a different direction. Like this one, like these ornaments. That would be really cute on one of these. Oh, well, let's do it. Um... Let's use it with this one. Oh, look at the buffalo check. Let's do that with that. Um, stripe on stripe, no. There's green buffalo, buffalo check, so these two are done. Let's see what else is in here. I've got a whole bunch of them in here. These might be the perfect size for for this. This is cute. Oh, I like that polka dots and stripes. This is that striped one. How about we use this note? Let's do that. Okay. Sorry I'm being picky, guys. I know I'm kind of in a frustrating mood, so I don't, I hope I'm not being frustrating toward y'all. Okay, so let's trim these down. These are six. So let's do like, let's try three and a half. 
and see what it looks like. I think we might need to go three. Let's go three. Yeah. And then, I'm not sure how wide that was. But you know what I can do is just cut it with my scissors. Um, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll just fold it over. That makes a more gusseted pocket. And so you can fit more things in the pocket when you do it that way. So that one goes with this one. We'll fold that around, that's cute. So we'll cut this down to three. Oh, that's cute. And then we get that whole line of ornaments right here. Really cute, cute, cute. Okay, ooh, just love the buffalo check with that. Cut those down to three. Might trim some of those off, but this is where we'll start. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just fold down one of these sides here like that. And then I'm just gonna match it up, put it right there. It doesn't matter if it's even or not. And then I'm gonna fold this down to match it. And then that's our, that's our pocket. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Let me cut a little divot in here, a thumb hole. See, this is what I needed tonight. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That is adorable. I love it. Okay. Let's do this one. So I'll just fold one side over. other side over oh I really like that the ornaments with this brown here let's cut our little thumb hole I don't want to cut my ornaments so I'm probably gonna cut kind of a shallow one on this one oh my gosh that's adorable okay I'm so sorry I had to run away from the screen, you guys. Oh, I feel so bad. It was like the one thing that I really missed from having my Android phone. But on my iPhone, I can do a video for however long I need it to go. And on my Android, I couldn't do that. Okay, looks like I, there we go. Cute. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the time because I could sit here and go on for like two hours with y'all doing this. Okay. Oh my gosh, this fly won't leave me alone. I see that I think almost in every video. There's these flies that get in her house. There's flies out on our patio. My mom and I both smoke. And, um, but I'm a little quicker coming in through the door than my mom. You know, she's in her 70s and um, I'm a little faster than her even being disabled. So um, I just, she ends up coming through the back door and she comes through slow enough to where the flies that are flying around on the patio end up in the house. Okay, let's just 
ink these up. Oh, before I ink these, I want to round my corners at the top. These are going to be adorable. I'm not going to worry about ink in the bottom because it's not going to show. Okay, so then what we're going to do is turn this over. And I'm going to put glue. Definitely, I'm not going to hit that fold. I'm going to stay away from the fold. So on, almost up to the fold, and then across the bottom. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm getting glue everywhere. And I'm gonna get this right in the fold and right across the bottom. Just like that. Really cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Even with no decorations. Okay, let's round these before we ink it. And what I do is when I glue these in, um, when I glue these onto a page, I'll glue it just on these three sides. That way it can tuck like an index card or something in there as well. I love pockets that you put on that have that extra space. Okay. Glue this one. I can hear my daughter coughing. And she does not have COVID. <laughs> and she gets so, she went with us to lunch and she yesterday and she's like, I'm always weird about going out in public when I have a cough because I'm afraid people think I have COVID. <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, let's get these lined up. Just like that, this one's cute. Oh, I love these. Horrible. This one's so cute with the ornaments. Now this one, the ink's not gonna show, but I just wanna get the, um, the white edge off from cutting the paper. That's all I'm looking to do there. It looks so much nicer when that's not showing. Okay. I apologize if you can hear my other daughter. She's on the phone with a, her girlfriend, and boy, she can laugh really loud, let me tell you. Okay. Some glue here. the bottom here. I know I say this for everyone, but it's so cute. <laughs> look how cute those ornaments look on there. I may not do anything to this one other than maybe put like a Merry Christmas right there because those ornaments are adorable with the like index card back.
So I hope you guys have had a better day than me. I hate like when I have like such a good day yesterday. Had so much fun meeting my sister for lunch, going to Hobby Lobby, buying the yarn for the blanket and um, for my sister's, I mean my niece's baby blanket. And it's like, and then this happens and it's like, oh my gosh, I wish I hadn't spent the money on that yarn. And you know, and it's just one of those things where it's just like, okay, the $30 I spent on yarn is not gonna cause me to lose my house. Do you know what I mean? It's like you have to put it into perspective and tighten those purse strings now and not, um, not worry about like, oh, you wish you would have known or you wouldn't have done that. You know, it's like all the what ifs could kill you, you know? So I'm just gonna enjoy crocheting a blanket for my niece and not worry about it. Okay. Now we can see what kind of cute things we can. Okay, I know I'm gonna love this when I turn it over. Oh, that buffalo check looks so cute with that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just what I needed tonight. Okay. Let's see what, I'm only gonna put probably a word on there. Let's see what I have. Let me see if I have a Merry Christmas in here. These are really cute. We didn't do one with blue though, did we? What other ones do I have? Oh, look at these little girls. Oh, she look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm using those on these pockets. Okay, let me see if I can find like just like a Merry Christmas or something like that. Something small. I don't see anything. Oh, here's a Merry Christmas. There we go. me I think what I want to do is where are my scissors my small ones let's fishtail this one put a little like a ribbon tail not fishtail ribbon tail on this like this my trash needs to be closer there we go. I ink this. Let's see. It needs to be on something to kind of anchor it. And I've got a little piece of. What did I do that? There they are. A little piece of something that I didn't quite get out of the center there. No, I just messed it up. this here. There we go. Okay. So we put this here. You can still see most of the ornaments. What if I move it down to the bottom here? Well, let me see what I have. And where did I put my little scraps? What did I do with those? Oh, here they are. Let's have little torn pieces of paper. Ooh, this little plaid. That's cute. See, now it's got a little dot out of it right here. If I do that and just kind of make it to where it's going to touch the bottom, I'll cut it right on that black edge right here. Gem right there. Yeah, I'm gonna 
keep that whole thing. I just really want those, as much of those ornaments to show as possible because they're absolutely adorable. And so I'm gonna put this plaid piece all the way down to the bottom. I think that's what I will do. Let's touch the left edge here, like that. I'm thinking some gems there and some green ones. off. These have like adhesive that keeps them together in a line. Okay, that's really cute. I'm going to leave that just like that. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, these are so cute. I'm going to use that plaid again. It's sitting right here. I wish I had more words. Another Merry Christmas. Or we don't really need a word. We could use like this little snowflake or something. Let's just see what we think. We'll find something. Oh yeah, that's cute. We'll put a little gem there. I like that. Okay. These are already distressed. It looks like I already did that. Okay, so let's ink this. put this maybe I'll do a ribbon tail on this too just to give it a little more interest there just so it's not just sitting like you know what I mean just blunt up to the edge there Actually, I should probably ink that ribbon tail edge. There we go. I don't want it to touch the edge, but I want it to be fairly close to it like that. We'll put this pretty little girl down. And it looks like she's, when I cut it, it has kind of a straight edge to it. So I'll make sure to put that down. It must have, my printer must have cut off some of the image. 
So we'll make sure that that kind of more straighter edge is toward the side there. Okay, let's put on our little snowflake. We'll make sure to kind of overlap all the different layers here. That is really cute. Oh my gosh. Now, do we want a red gem or do we want a green gem? I think a red. Let's go with red this time. Right there in the middle. What I need to do is take my um, flower punches and make some flower, Christmas flowers. Okay, I am super happy with that. That is really cute. Okay. Let's see these pretty little ladies here. Um, let's see, how about maybe some book page? Maybe we'll use our Merry Christmas and some lace or some music. I saw that I had some music in here. We'll put them on this side, no, and material ruler. Where's material ruler, there it is. Ugh. About knocking everything over here. Okay, let's see how we want to use this. our Merry Christmas like that. I'll trim that down. And maybe a little bit of trim. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'll use. I think maybe I need less. I'm going to cut these words off. Yeah, I like that better. Definitely like that better. These little sweeties. buffalo check to show. <laughs> there goes my daughter again laughing really loud. I'm <laughs> sorry about that if you can hear it. <laughs> oh, so sweet. So sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, this needs to be trimmed down. So let me do that. Goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I think 
what I'm gonna do is take out my black pen. Oopsie. And put some. Oops. Put some little faux sewing lines on here, little dashes. I don't think it needs it. Just as close to the edge as I can get it. Cute. I just felt like it needed somewhat of an outline. I don't know why. You guys that have ever happened to you can sit and feel like something needs something, but you, you don't know why. You just know that it does. I'm gonna leave that out in case, in case we need it again. Oh my gosh, adorable. Really cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna just put one little bitty gem here. And I'm gonna make it red because there's absolutely no green on there anywhere. There, and I'm gonna use my little heart lace on the bottom of this. Because those little darlings, I'm gonna keep this out because I think I wanna use it on this too. Those little darlings need some hearts. I'm just gonna put just the top edge of that lace on there. Oops. I, think I may need a little bit. Nope. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. What do we want to do with this one? Um, we used some book page. We used some. Let me see, look at my scraps here. That be too much. Uh, I don't quite like it. Um, just looking at my little cutoffs here that I use when we trimmed these up. Um, this music is kind of sideways. Oh, what about this? No, nope, it's not colorful enough. Oh, I wonder, do I have any more of this polka dot? that would be really cute. No. Just looking for something cute. And there's a ton of cute stuff here, but how about Oh, I just, I just see some polka dots right here through this pack here. Right on top. Do we want polka dots on polka dots? Ugh, I don't know. Let's look at our strips here. Because there's a ton of them. Oh, here's some music. Oh, look at that. I don't know. What do we use some green? I like that. Let's use that. I'm going to pull out the green out of the stripes there. Okay, so right about, I want to this whole snowflake here so I'm just gonna just eyeball that and I think it needs to be trimmed down it's 
a little too wide here. Just take off an edge here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll lose a little bit of the snowflake, but I'm gonna ribbon tail it. I just like that look better than it just sitting flush against that edge. All right. Guys, thanks for sitting with me tonight and letting me ramble and I needed it. I really did. I appreciate y'all. You have no idea. Okay, so let's put this down. So when you're mass making stuff like this, it doesn't matter if you decorate them to where they're similar to each other because these are not going to go into the same journal. You can go right between these two rows of polka dots here. Oh, what am I doing? I already inked that. Maybe we'll do another snowflake since we have snowflakes going on in the in the green here, in the green strip. She looks so cute holding all her presents. Little darling. jam on the in the middle of this one and this time we'll go ahead and use a red gem actually I think I used a red gem on the other one too but because this one's sitting on green I want the contrasting I wonder if I should put the little lace hearts on the bottom of this one too It'd be really cute. That's adorable. Okay. Okay, you know what I think? I need a little bit of an outline on her. I don't know why. but I'm gonna just add some stitching. I don't know why I feel like she needs it and the other ones didn't. I think it's because it's such neutral colors in the background here, plus she's got a neutral background. The other ones had more colorful pockets on them. So I feel like she needs something to stand out a little bit more. Yeah, the other ones had more colorful pockets that they were sitting on. Okay, oh, that looks better. Okay, let's. Snip some of this. I love this trim, I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone. I don't even know where I got that. I don't even know where I got that from. I think it's from, it was from my sister and the stuff that I brought home from her. I have no idea where she got it. I'll have to search the internet and see if I can find some somewhere because I absolutely love this trim. 
I will be really bummed when it's gone if I can't find any more of it. Okay. All right, let me check our time, guys, because it feels like we've been sitting here quite a while. Oh my gosh, we're over an hour. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end it here. Let's look at what we've done, though. Sorry to keep you so long. So we did our four pockets. So we have this little girl. I'm so glad I found those. I can't believe all that time we only got eight pieces done. Oh well. They're super cute though, but it's eight pockets. So, and then we have our little flip outs that we did that I used the rose outs on. So we have that one and that one and this one and this one. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sitting with me tonight. I really needed it, and I'm not even ready to put my Christmas stuff up. I've got these triangle pockets to decorate. Maybe I'll just come back tomorrow, and we'll have two days of Christmas stuff. So, <laughs> if you guys don't mind. <laughs> so, as always, guys, have a great day. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.